Hey friends, it's Jesse, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Halloween video. Today we are playing with the Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa's Dead collab number two. This is the Teresa's Lethal collection. I have the palette, we have face products, we have eyeliners. There's a lot for us to get through, so let's jump into it. So for comparison, here is the Lethal is Dead palette. This was the collab from last year. It is much more muted, a little bit more of like the bluey purples. And then this is the Teresa is Lethal palette that just came out. So here are the two side by side. I really feel like the Teresa is Lethal is a lot more approachable than this one. However, I have loved using the Lethal is Dead palette. So when I opened this palette, there was a lot of different looks that I wanted to do with it, but I think my mind is taking me in two specific directions. So I think the first look I want to do is something like this, kind of neutral with this deeper shade, deepening it up. And then the second look I want to do, I think, is something more of these colorful colors. I feel like that's kind of the vibe because I am literally dying and I don't know when my cold medicine is going to wear off. I am just going to go ahead and do one look per eye. Basically how I did it when I reviewed the ColourPop Shore Thing collection. I've already done just a very light base. I used my Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I did some light contouring, but we do have some blush and highlight products. I've already put them in a ColourPop Singles palette, but we have two blushes and two highlights in this collection. The blush looks like bacon. And then we also have two eyeliners, so there's lots for us to try out. So I think let's go ahead and start with the neutral look. I think I'm gonna go into Area 52, which is this taupey shade first, and I'm gonna use this as my base shade. I've already prepped my eyes with just a little bit of concealer, and then I did set it with Tempura, which is this white shade from my Modern Renaissance palette. This is just to give me a nice base. But the first shade I'm gonna go into is Area 52, which is this kind of neutral brownish taupe color. I meant to do this on the other eye, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pop that all up in the crease. We're gonna do kind of like a blown out smoky eye. Next, I'm going into Space Duster, which is this kind of like blue toned gray. I feel like this will be really pretty. I'm popping this in the crease and blending that up into area 52. I really like this blend. It's just kind of like a beige to gray blend. It's looking very stark in the camera. I'm still kind of working on my camera settings, but I'm not mad at it so far. Next, I think I want to take Pew Pew, which is this really cute bubblegum pink. And I'm just taking this on a little detail brush and popping that straight into the inner corner. I don't really know how I want this look to go. I'm just kind of playing around with it, but I feel like that's kind of cute. I really like the quality of Lethal Shadows. They're some of my favorite eyeshadows. They're so pigmented and creamy, like you can do so much with it. If you watch my Spooky Season Shop My Stash, I have the teeniest, tiniest bit left in my MAC Fix Plus Lavender. I am going to spritz my brush a little bit before I dive into shimmers. For the shimmer in the neutral look, I wanna go into TV Dinner, which is this really pretty silver. I did swatches of this and this looked so gorgeous. I am a sucker for a good silver. I love cool tone shades on myself. I think they look so cute. Oh, look at that silver, bro. This has been my favorite silver since Cyborg in the ABH Sultry palette. Like this is such a good silver. I'm gonna just take that brush that I did the gray on just to buff through the edges a little bit. I'm not adding any product. I'm just making sure there's no harsh lines. Using that same brush, I'm going into area 52 again, which is that beige. And I'm just gonna start feathering that from the outer corner over onto the lid just to add some of that shade in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with that gray space duster. I do want to deepen this corner up just a tiny bit, but I just want to make sure that everything is nice and blended before I do that. I am also going to redefine that inner corner just a touch with this pink shade. For the very outer corner, I'm going into the Sigma Tapered Blending and I'm going into Plutonian, which is this really deep plum. I'm just popping that right in the inner corner and I'm really just keeping it concentrated right on that outer edge and just very gently brushing it up and then kind of onto the lid a teeny tiny bit. 
And then of course, just going in and making sure everything is blended. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more of Area 52 up in here. I'm really gonna have to check out my camera settings because in my mirror, it looks pretty blended, but on camera, it looks very harsh. And I'm not sure if that's gonna be how it translates into film, like when I go to edit. I'm gonna just hope for the best, honestly. This is the quietest that Bruce has been when I film, I think for the past like few videos. We went to the botanical gardens today, created some core memories. It was a swell time. He loved it. I loved it. I loved seeing him love it. We're gonna go into area 52 real quick. I'm gonna start buffing that on the lower lash line. And then I'm also going into Space Duster, which is that gray and meeting that right on the edge. I don't wanna go into the deepest, deepest shade because I'm actually thinking a really smoky like black liner. I have this eyeliner from the Urban Decay Holiday Collection this year. This is the Urban Decay X Robin Eisenberg Snow or Stars liner. So I'm actually gonna do this in my lower lash line. I feel like this just is the vibe. I'm also gonna touch my top lashes just a teeny tiny bit. Using that same pencil brush that I used on the lower lash line, I'm just gonna kinda go through and smoke that out. I do have two liners that came with this collection, Harvested, which is this kind of like rusty brown, and Galactic Goo, which is this kind of like blue-green. I'm not sure I wanna try these today. I think I'm gonna try the blue-green on this eye. But I really think that this just kind of like the basic smoky is the vibe for this side. I am going to do some mascara, of course, but let's go ahead and hop into the other eye real quick. So the first shade I want to go into is Venus Envy, which is this bright green. It looks very beautiful. And I'm just taking this on a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to start blending that down as our first shade. This one I feel like is very pigmented, but as I blend it out, it kind of shears out a little bit. It's also kind of the brush that I'm using too. So I feel like if I were to use a denser brush, this would be more pigmented, but this works perfect for how I want it because I do want to have just kind of that wash of green. And next I'm going into Specimen 3, which is this teal aqua shade at the bottom. And I'm going to do, I think, one of my favorite techniques for these shadows, which is I'm going to pat it down kind of where I want it first. And now that I've had it kind of pat down, I can kind of go in and blend it. That way it keeps most of the pigment on there, but then buffs the edges. I'm also swapping brushes back into the original brush just to blend those together. She's looking like an alien up in here, bro. Debating if I want to do a cut crease or if I just kind of want to do the same smoky eye but colorful on this side. I'm going into another brush. This is from Sigma and Alice in Wonderland. One of my favorite brush collections, by the way. And I'm hopping into Space Trash, which is this really pretty bluey, shifty shade. And I'm just going to go full ham. Oh, girl, that is... Dang, it's not showing up on camera like it is in person, but it has the most pretty, like blue to pink shift like in camera it just kind of like looks like a blue silver but i promise it looks so much better than that i'm just gonna kind of mirror the look that we did on this side but with more colorful colors and for the inner corner i am going into pew pew and i think just for funsies i'm gonna throw this red shimmer on both inner corners because i didn't get to use it yet and that will be every single shade in the palette used i am gonna go into one of the gel liners from the collection for the color colorful side. So I have this ColourPop E6 brush and I am going to smoke it out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hold up. Look at that. It's like a green metallic. Okay. Joke's on me. I'm going to swatch this one too. The leaf aligners are always so pretty. Oh my God. Girl, I love playing with makeup. Like it just makes me so happy. Okay. I'm going to see, I don't know if I can put this in my waterline, but I'm just going to do it anyway. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I kind of put it on top of my lashes and then I'm just gonna smoke it all out. It's kind of like a green metallic-y liner. I don't know if you can tell. I really feel like the colors on my new camera aren't showing up as good as the colors on my last camera, but the quality is better. So I'm still trying to play around with settings, bear with me. Also, I forgot to mention, I will link all the products that I used on my face today in the description box below. I always try and list them. Sometimes I'm really bad at writing them down, 
but I did write all of the products I used today down so you can find all of them down there. For mascara, I'm gonna go into my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Waterproof. I don't feel like doing falsies today because I keep sneezing and knowing my luck, I'm gonna sneeze as I try and put the false lashes on. So we're just gonna go for mascara today. I really like the pop of pink in the inner corners. I'm just so mad that you can't see it. At least in my viewfinder, you can't see it. But it is time to play with cheek products. I think I'm gonna try all the cheek products in the collection. So let's go ahead and start with the blushes. I'm trying to pull up my phone so I can look up the shade names for these blushes. I think we're gonna go for the more neutral slash toned down side first and I wanna go into the bacon looking blush. This according to the website is in the shade Plan 9. So I'm just taking this on an Odin's Eye blush brush. Kind of a oh. Pat that down. This does have a little bit of a shimmer, so I almost don't even want to do highlight over this. Okay, that looks so good. That looks freaking good. I am gonna go over it with my sponge real quick just to make sure that it is blended to perfection. But look at the blush. Girl, who knew bacon could look so good? I'm also gonna just kind of blush my forehead a little bit because the girl's pasty white. And then I also like to kind of Kind of just go over where I contour with a little bit of blush. That looks so good. Like, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna just take that same Odin's Eye brush. There is a highlighting side on one side. And I'm just gonna kind of go into it a teeny tiny bit. Oh, girl. This is my first time trying the Lethal Cheek products and it did not disappoint. Let's do the other side real quick. So the purple one is in the shade Cryo cryostasis so this is cryostasis it is beautiful and i'll be honest this is the one that i think i'm looking forward to most i do really like a good purple blush of course the shadows are casting at the weirdest angle but i think i like it i'm gonna do the same thing and go over it with my sponge real quick i'm running out of extra concealer on this sponge you know i really thought i was gonna like the colorful side more but i'm starting to really vibe with the neutral side and I just wiped the excess highlight off of that brush and we're gonna go into the green highlighter. This, according to the picture I'm going off of, should be the shade Moon Rock. So we're gonna hop into Moon Rock real quick, just a tiny little bit. Gonna dust that brow bone. That didn't do anything, so we're gonna try again. <laughs> dust the brow bone and dust the cheekbone. As a whole, I am glad I purchased all of these because I do really like them and I did really wanna try the formulas. I will say, bacon blush and white highlighter seem like a much better duo than green highlighter and purple blush. I don't really know what I was thinking. Honestly, these two don't really go together in general, but I was like, screw it, we're gonna try it. And sometimes we try things and they don't work out and that's why we can just wipe things off. So this is everything for the collection specific products. However, I do have this gloss from Lethal Cosmetics that I got a while back. This is in the shade Ultraviolet. I'm pretty sure I picked this up I don't even remember when my last order from them was. And for lip liner, we're gonna go into Harmonies from Rem Beauty. This is a relatively newer one to my collection. I've used it a couple times. I can't remember loving or hating it, so we're just gonna kinda go for it. Also, these have like a very distinct like bubble gummy scent. This is the final look or looks, I guess, if you want to call it two different looks. Definitely let me know down below which one you prefer, if you prefer the neutral or the colorful look. I think I've been very transparent that I prefer the neutral look, but definitely let me know your thoughts. I would love to know. If you picked anything up from this collection, I would love to know what you picked up and what your thoughts are. I think it was a very fun collection. It's very Teresa. I think they did an amazing job. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.